Hey everybody! Welcome to my new Let's Play for Nancy Drew, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Uh, With me! Nancy Drew game this is, I have to look on the website. It's like 20 something. Um, we have to do math. 23? I, I think this is game 23. Anyway, and we have a special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, Howdy, y'all! Not I you, know Nancy! From my... Go ahead. Howdy, y'all! I'm the Geeky Skunk Gamer! Yeah, he is here. He is joining us. The reason I said be quiet is because as soon as you started talking, Nancy also started talking, saying, Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. And I can't hear it because the program that we're using to listen in is not working properly. It's actually working properly. You're not supposed to be able to hear. Okay, well, it's just not picking up the sound for me, so I'm not going to be able to hear any, any of this. So good thing it's got uh, closed captioning on the screen. Yeah, I'll try and turn it up so maybe you'll get a little bit of echo through the microphone, but no promises. Anyway. After a string of tough mysteries, I've decided it's time to take a break to do a little sightseeing. That's all you need to know, so let's begin. All right. All right, so we got two modes. We are naturally going to be what, doing what my dad calls kindergarten mode, but is really <laughs> junior detective. Nice graphics. It is pretty good graphics. Hi, I have a reservation under Nancy Drew. Hello there. Do you portrait. believe me now? Obasan, it only fell. It did not. You know better. I'm very sorry. She, she's just a little upset. She does not want her here. Tell her to go. Now. What was that about? Why is she upset? Please, don't worry about that. Here, this is your room key. Thanks, I always wanted a room key. Thanks. Your room is on the second floor. Actually I've already had floor, your bag sent up. Cards Please, my name's Miwako. Come to me if there's anything you need. Well, this isn't your traditional, uh... Ooh, funny cat. <laughs> well, let's do that first, then. Is that a robotic cat? Yeah, Suki! Isn't she the greatest? Lentalo got her for me. I've wanted my own pet cat for forever, but I can't have one at the Ryokan. I came into work one day, and there she was, right next to the sweetest note from Lentaro. I've never seen a robotic cat before. What does it do? She's not on it. She's cat. Suki. It's okay, she didn't mean it. Actually, she doesn't really do much, mainly sits. But, oh wait, I just learned something neat. Suki, tate. Aww. Oh, that's great! That's all I remember right now, but she can do a lot more. I should figure out what the rest of the commands are, come to think of it. Although, to be honest, it's a little more believable if she just does what she wants. I'm going to have to apologize in advance. I have a bad habit of, uh, while someone is talking, I scroll down to see what the uh, responses are so I can click and keep the conversation going. But if you can't hear, you won't know. You won't benefit from me scrolling down, so I'm going to have to remember to leave it up instead of going down. Up, down, up, That's down. That's fine. Do, 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 do. All right. I'll let you get back to work. Bye. Goodbye. Now, I suppose... Nancy, please be careful. There's too much broken glass. You suppose... I was going to suppose something, but then Miwaku rudely interrupted me. I said I suppose I should explain how the game interface works. Um... So we have our inventory, we have our journal, we have our task list, and we have our self ugh, cell phone. Which we're gonna change the settings for because that is a very ugly setting. Uh, let's go with that. I have my own. Ooh, yellow. Oh, yellow. Oh, yuck, yellow. I like yellow. That doesn't look too bad. But I like green too. We got green. I like green too. We got purple. We got red. We got blue. And then we have. Un oh, this is gonna be pointless because you can't hear any of these sounds. Just do whichever tone you want. That. We have a cat. We have a boing. A horn. And an annoying elephant. Gee, I wonder what we're gonna use. Cat! So, the 
now we have rep the uh, bugle call. Third. An explosion. Ooh. And a ship board. Let's take a classic bell. And over here you have options. Load game. Save game. And leave the game. Alright, and then, so let's just take a look around. We got this book on the rocks of gar- The rock garden of- Of Ryojani. Ryojani, I think. Well, whatever. And also a Tessin. Cool. Uh, let's see. Navigation's a little messy in this part of the Ryokan. We have this place. Fire. Stay back, please. That's very dangerous. Ooh, fuego. It's very dangerous. Muy dangerous. We have a book over here on- What is this? Uh, oh, ghost. ghost stories of Japan. Wonder if it has the story of Brusho Gun in there. I don't know. Oh, uh, and now our cell phone's ringing. Hello, Nancy. Ooh, you made it. How was your ride? It was pretty good. I love Japan. I have done so much shopping, and George's convention is crazy. I've never seen so many people. It's totally sold out. You sound pretty excited. Well, yeah. Kinda hard not to be here. I don't even know where to start. Have you ever had mochi? It's a revelation, Nancy. I'm not even kidding. And the shopping. Conference me in already. Oh yeah. Did that I love it? how the scariest song nope. in the game is okay. playing in the background right no, now. No, hit the while we're talking. No, the You do it then. We all on? <laughs> yes. Yep. Why is that so hard? It so isn't. Anyway, what's your story? What are you up to? You coming over? I'm still getting settled in, but I'll be out to see you guys soon. How's the... whatever it is you're staying at? Ryokan. It's great. A little strange, though. When I was checking in, a picture fell off the wall, and everyone was really weird about it. Huh. Oh no! Our train's going to be here in a sec. Gotta go! See you, Nancy! Bye! Yay! Phone conversations. Alright, let's move on. To our room. That's not our room. That's not our room either. Which one is our room? I forget. I guess I should read the key. Room. That's very helpful. Can't get in there right now. There you go. It's 24. I should remember this. I played this game like a few months ago. Yep. Anyway. So you got some real stuff in here. You got... We are a teacher, by the way. Uh, here in this particular game. Why she's a teacher when she should be on vacation is beyond me. Look at all these people! We don't care. And then we have some flashcards and uh, a little TE Japan book thingy. Teacher's Exchanger, however that works. And then we can also Time to grade the fun some papers. Part is we can grade homework. I guess we could fail everyone, but uh, this person already failed herself, so failure! You are a disgrace to Japanese kind. This person's a little bad. My name is Amy. Whoops, didn't mean to use that stamp. But anyway, doesn't matter. You fail everything else. I still say you are miserable. And we got the good student who does everything right. Ooh, congratulations! And then someone who's using contractions. Eyes be brown. You eyes be wrong. <laughs> that that one part kind of looked like he was trying to pretend to be Yoda. Seven, I am. <laughs> well, he failed. I is <laughs> ten. I is Japan. I have blue hair. We have horrible suits. That's all we can do there. By the way, that was the best Yoda impression I've ever done. Congratulations. Uh, what do we have here? We got uh, we got a subway pass and a Japanese English dictionary. Hi. Right, and then we have just mattress stuff in here for bed. And uh, yeah, that is our glorious room. My bed's not even air conditioned. And then we also have some other stuff here at the Rio Con. We have this place, which is. Whoa! Hang on. Man Ooh. only right now. What do you mean? The baths. The blue banner means the baths are for men. The red banner means women only. I don't know why we don't mention this at the front desk. This is useful information. Anyway, I'm Rentaro. I'm out in the garden if you need anything. He's got a cool shirt. <laughs> Whoops! 
Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> oh, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> You've laughed more at that than I've ever laughed at all my, like, ten playthroughs of this game. Oh, it's it was men funny. only right Come now. Come on. It is funny. It's like, whoops! I don't even, what do you even trip on? What's there, there's nothing to trip on right here. I think he may have tripped on the, the door catch. You know, it slides across the floor. I think there might have oh, been a Oh, yeah, there is a, a door thing. thing right there. Yeah. Alrighty. So, yeah, he might have shuffled his feet and accidentally tripped on that. Yeah, we got a little fountain thingy. That's so cool. They made it out of bamboo. Yeah, and then we have a bridge. And we have a hut with Rentaro in it. Hi again. <laughs> I'm Rentaro. It's nice to meet you, officially. So, um, you're still here. That's surprising. I'm Nancy. What do you mean, surprising? Did I say that? Whoops. <laughs> so, you're American. From New York City? No, a place called River Heights. It's in... Oh, okay. That's one of the places I always wanted to go. I mean, you'd have to be crazy to live there. But on the other hand, you'd have to be crazy not to live there. It's one of those, um, uh, unwinnables. Do you work here? Technically, it's a complicated thing we've got going on. I'm sort of like the handyman around here. So, should I bother getting to know you, or are you going to be like all of the rest? What do all of the rest do? Get spooked in the middle of the night? Pack their bags and never come back? Even the ones who come to see the ghosts. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh, well, oh, he's already did. If you see Takaido, this conversation never happened. Ghosts? What ghosts? We got one of those, um, haunted hotspot guides. So we get a lot of ghost hunters here. And that's always a treat, because they're totally not obnoxious. So, people think this place is haunted? Well, some people think this place is haunted. Kind of like some people think the moon landing was faked, and some people like adult contemporary. Don't be one of those people. I still can't believe some you people like think puzzles? the moon landing was a fake. I guess you could say that. I figured I'm more of a fan you're of the going adult to rob this. Line. <laughs> it's called a nanogram. What's that? It's just another example of how awesome numbers are. Letters are cool and all. But they just make words. I mean, get with the game, letters. Numbers, on the other hand, get a few handfuls of those and you can make a bridge or send a person into space or express the makeup of our genetic code or, or... They can make a neat picture. Okay. Hey, look, it's Take Rocky a Raccoon. look in here. All you need to do is look this over and finish the pattern. And when you're done, picture. Here, take this. Give it a shot. Bring it back when you're done, and I'll give you something better. Sure. Spoiler alert, the thing that's better is actually worse. And there are instructions inside in case you get stuck. Wonderful. I should go. I'll talk to you later. See you later. Alright, but might as well do this because it will come back to haunt us later. Yep. Alright, nonograms. Basically, well, there's a description there. Using the number clues, fill in the blocks to create a picture. Right-click to mark of an X, like that, but... Just don't bother doing that because it's easy. You got five, like five, you got three, you got like that. Um, that's next. And uh, that. I did it! Congratulations, we won. I give it back. Hey. What the heck was that? It was called a nonogram puzzle. I finished I the nonograms the puzzle. On it. I didn't look awesome. like anything. Nice oh. job. What do you think? I loved it. I've got something better. You know it. I've you played love Sudoku. It. The original Sudoku. Oh, I played that before. Great, great. Tough I've got some good ones down. for you here. Here you go. Bring it back if you want more. And I don't remember if this. One's I'll talk to you later. Let's find out. See you later. Open up Sudoku. Yeah. Rocket. What? The? Oh, okay, wait. Ah, did it. I'm clicking out of the window. Alrighty, so, there's two ways you can do this. The boring way, we select the numbers and then you select the things. But who wants to do it that way? You can also use keyboard controls to play it. And I don't remember the solution to this puzzle. So. Yeah, um... You gotta get the numbers 1 through 9 in there, while also 
being able to add up the different lines to the to a certain amount. I forget what amount it is. Yeah, I know that. I mean, the thing is, I don't remember the exact solution to this one. It's not necessarily completed, but might as well get the practicing because uh, we're gonna be doing this later. And I'm not Wonderful. saying that in a good way. So hang on a minute. Let me see here. Here we go. Let's see here. We got. Uh, we got your four, we got your six, we got your seven, nine, three, uh, six, whoops, eight, twenty-seven, whoops, one. That's a bit of a drawback to playing with the keyboard is that sometimes you hit the wrong things. Yeah. So, this will take a little bit so you can ramble on or watch me fill in this puzzle. Shouldn't take that long. Eight. Whoops. Eight. Uh, six. Two. Seventeen. Three. So did you did you know that the numbers four and nine in Japan are considered the unlucky numbers because the the number four in Japanese sounds very close to the word for death. Uh, yeah, I actually did know that. There's a paper you find later in the game that explains that to you. Nine is, uh, sounds like the word for suffering. Oh, that's lovely. So, four and nine are numbers that the, that the more, uh, what am I trying to say? The more, well, anyway, they avoid it for super, superstitious reasons. Yeah, there, we'll get an explanation of that probably next episode is my guess is when we'll find that paper. I did it! Meanwhile, uh. I finished. Hi! Uh, where is it? I finished at the Sudoku. Way to go! So, what do you think? It's not really my thing. Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye on you, Nancy. You're trying to get me all wound up. Well, he sounds not sinister, especially fan. with that... I've got made. one last type of puzzle to show you. This is one of my favorites, Renograms. It's all about creating an unbroken string of numbers. Tell me what I've you think. I've actually never heard of done. Renograms. Here you go. Well, let us show you. I'll talk to you later. And I also haven't Bye. heard of nonograms until now either. Well, we're learning. Fill the grid with available numbers to create a single consecutive string from 1 to 56. Wonderful. So let's <laughs> see here. Alrighty, let's begin. 2, 3, that was a four, five. Oh. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is going to be hard in real life. Yep. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. One, Teach me, oh master. Uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm teaching you right now. Take notes. Type, pity, type, type, type. 24, 35, 36. Whoops. 6 or 7, 38, 39, 41, 2, 3, 4, 4, 8, 5, 46, 47, 48, uh, 5, I six. did it! Get out of my way. Thank you. What was that? Hi. Calendar alert. I mm. finished up the Renograms puzzle. That Great. Renograms puzzle I actually knew you that looks fun. Don't tell the yeah. other puzzles. But it is fun. This is my favorite. Which is why it doesn't come back to haunt you later. What are you building Aww. there? Why can't it do oh, that? These are the hard ones. This is the Rentaro 4000. I saw that got inspired by Suki. What's it going to be? A robotic dog. Or maybe just a robotic <laughs> just a dog's leg. leg. I'll be honest, I had no idea how long these things take to build. But then again, a dog's leg is not a good gift without the I rest of the back, dog. I like this guy. <laughs> so the borders on creepy come to think of it. <laughs> is it going to be a gift for Miwako? <laughs> oh, definitely. She's my robotic muse. Oh my god. But she's not robotic. Not that you think she is. <sighs> And this is why I work with machines. They're totally oblivious to awkwardness. <sighs> I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye! I take All back right. what I said about the creep face. That guy's awesome. 
Well, it's time to meet someone who's not Adam. This is the old witch's broom. Hey, is it the old lady. <laughs> yeah. It is a pleasure to meet you, Parapali. Uh, I am sorry joke, for the way I behaved mm -hmm. yeah. when you first arrived. It was very impolite. Please forgive me. Of course, don't worry. It's nice to meet you as well. That is very kind of you to say, but I must always oh worry gosh, she talks about so the slow. guests who sit here. She talks with about us, as slow as fluoride. Especially now. What do you mean, especially now? Yes, I know. Are Steven you Universe. here for a yada, yada, yada. today? <laughs> yes. Today, you will be learning katakana. To the outsider, I misread that at the always <laughs> looks far more difficult to learn than it is. You just need to be patient, and you need to learn to see more than you are used to seeing. There is a book to help in the chest. Paractus, until it looks like your name, Nancy, not just some lines. What do you mean? Although there are many Nanatsis in the world, your name belongs to only you. It has always been yours. You must try until what you see on the paper is not just a word. It is you. If you insist, old lady. So, this is pretty simple. You just gotta draw the lines. And actually, I wonder, I have a touch screen and I have a stylus. Can I use it to just do it like this? She's gonna complain. Oops. Yep. I should try again. Forget it. We'll do it the mouse way. Alrighty, here we go. So this is uh, a little calligraphy lesson, courtesy of I do not know, re do not remember her name. Her name is Takai. Takai, got it. Also, I'm sorry if you guys can hear my clock. I don't hear any clock. Oh. Well, sometimes my microphone's so loud it picks it up. Ah. Not to mention I'm like five feet from it. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear a clock. Don't worry. That's good. What I hear is the people outside in the piazza getting ready to set up dancing. Oh, that looks like a smiley face turned sideways. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. I know, but it does ah, look like it. No. Please tell me that's good. Good. There we go. There we go. And then uh, let's try going down. Perfect. Very well done, Nancy. This is the best I've ever seen from a new student. I knew you could do this well. Leave this to dry, and I'll have it brought to your room to remind you of your success. I'll stop bugging you now. Goodbye. Yes, thank you. Good Hello, luck. Nancy. I don't want to talk. I'll let I you go. To turn Goodbye. But if it makes it feel better, we'll end the episode here so you get a little more screen time. Next I gotta time. say that that um, when you when it clicked off, it looked like it looked like you had said, "I love the gardens." Or do you take care of them yourself? And then she just says, "Goodbye." <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh... I, that's one of the perils of not being able to hear a ding dang thing. You, uh, it just looked like she didn't want to talk about it, so she said goodbye. No, that's just where the mouse happened to be. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Nancy Drew Shout at the Water's Edge, uh, we'll continue to explore the Ryokan Hie. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't think we want to venture into Kyoto yet. So we're going to probably be exploring more around here. See you guys then. Bye!